Hey learners, today we are going to study about the look and key model of enzyme. But before we study about this model, I want you to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you can get all the updates about my videos. Okay, let's dive into the topic. We know that enzymes play a vital role in regulating and controlling the biochemical processes in an enzyme catalyzed reaction. What happens that substrates they bind with the enzyme at their active site and then these substrates they are converted into the products. Now the key step in any enzyme catalyzed reaction is the proper binding of substrate to the active site. It means that correct substrate should be binded with the correct active site. So to explain the mechanism or to explain uh, how this substrate is going to bind with the enzyme, uh, German, German chemist Emil Fischer, he proposed lock and key model in 1894. To explain this uh, model, here I have three different keys and one lock. We know that when the key is inserted in the keyhole, then that lock it can be, but the key should be properly fitted into the keyhole. Here you can see I have three keys here, and you can see that this key and this key it cannot be properly fitted into the lock. However, this key it is a perfect fit. Similarly, the look and key model is based on this fact that a specific key can open a specific lock. Similarly, one specific substrate can bind to one specific enzyme. This model is successful in clarifying the substrate specificity of enzyme. Here are the key points of lock and key model. According to this model, enzyme is a lock while a substrate is a key. Here you can see we have an enzyme and a substrate. This substrate is binded at the active site. However, this substrate B, it cannot bind with the enzyme. Why? Because the shape of the substrate B is not compatible with the enzyme. So, this is the second point of lock and key model where the substrate has a similar shape to the active site of the enzyme. That is why A substrate is binded with the enzyme. Uh, the third point is that substrate binds tightly to the active site of the enzyme. Here you can see that it is properly fitted or tightly fitted with the enzyme. An enzyme is a rigid structure. The enzyme here you can see it is a very rigid structure and it is not going to change its shape. It is rigid just like a lock. And single substrate binding to the active side of the enzyme it can be explained by the help of lock and key model. So these are the description. However, there are some limitations to this lock and key model. The first limitation is the shape change of the enzyme. So the recent studies they said that when substrate binds with the enzyme, the enzyme changes its shape. However, the lock and key model is unable to explain these changes. It cannot explain the multiple substrate binding because it is only explaining one substrate binding to the enzyme. However, recent studies also said that multiple substrate they can bind with a single enzyme at a one time. Along with this, this enzyme is unable to explain the stabilization of intermediate shape of the substrate when enzyme and substrate they are binded with each other to form a ES complex. The lock and key model is unable to explain this intermediate shape. So these are some limitations for the lock and key model. I hope that lock and key model of enzyme is clear to you.